Your regular Sunday reporter, Jim Redman, has been covering the flood cleanup and all the rescue effort from a spot outside Loveland where our Instacam truck can beam a signal back to Denver. And here's that report. Jim? Bob, about the last thing the people up here are trying to cope with this disaster need is more rain, and that's just what they're getting now. More rain squalls are moving into the Loveland area. But one of the most difficult problems that officials have here, outside of the weather problem, is figuring out just how many people were up in that canyon at the time that flood roared down on them. So far, they've rescued somewhere near 800 people, most of the 800 with one injury or another to their bodies, a lot of uh, arms hurt, a lot of cuts and bruises, that sort of thing. At last report, there were somewhere between 49 and 60 people dead. They still aren't sure exactly how many dead there are and may not for several days in what is apparently the worst flood in Colorado history. Rescue operations have been going on all day with National Guard and civilian helicopters operating out of two emergency helipads just west of Loveland. Governor Lamb has declared this a major disaster area and has sent in 150 National Guard troops to help the Larimer County Sheriff's Office. Apparently, all the water supplies in the Big Thompson River Canyon from Estes Park to Loveland have been contaminated, and people are being urged to boil all water before use. There's been some trouble with onlookers coming up here to see what's going on. Authorities ask that everyone stay away and watch the coverage on television. Onlookers here are just impeding the rescue efforts. This afternoon, leaflets were dropped in the Big Thompson Canyon advising advisors to mark out an A on the ground if medical attention is needed, an F if they need food, a W for water, and an OK if everything's all right. Survivors are also being advised to form groups and get to high ground as more rain and flooding is expected tonight. We'll continue to fly in there as long as we can tonight. Our pilots are getting overextended. We're going to have to pull them out shortly. Uh, early in the morning, we hope to have another three Chinooks in there. They seem to be the best adapted to this area, and we can cut our time in half, they tell us, with those. If we get another heavy rainfall like the one last night that touched off the splash flood, what, what do you think the outcome will be? Will you be able to cope with that? Uh, we hope by that time we'll have spread the word by word of mouth and by scattering these 48 people in, in elements and groups up through the canyon area to, to get the people up into higher ground to set themselves up for a stay up there. And then if we have to get in and feed them from air or whatever it takes tomorrow, that's what we'll be doing. A number of politicians, including Governor Lamb, Senator Gary Hart, and Congressman Jim Johnson have been here and will be working on getting disaster relief funds for this flood-stricken area in the aftermath of this incredible flash flood devastation. Our man Richard Riggs is up in Big Thompson River Canyon right now at Glen Haven, one of the hardest hit areas. It's reportedly been nearly totally wiped out. Richard hopefully will be able to get film out of there for our news report later on tonight. If not, why, he'll just stay up there until morning when we'll be able to get him out along with all the other people, Bob. Jim, uh... The film we've seen, and from what you say, indicates that the water had to have come down that canyon with tremendous force. I'm sorry, Bob, I couldn't quite hear you. A chopper just went over the... Would you repeat the question, please, Bob? Oh, you couldn't get it. Uh, I say, the, from what we have seen and heard, Jim, the water had to have come down the canyon with incredible force. Yes, it did. Uh, obviously, it wiped out everything in its path. It's incredible when you think about what happened up here, a flash flood with 10 inches of rain in uh, Estes Park roaring down that canyon. In fact, the sheriff uh, told a reporter that it uh, completely bounced the uh, Loveland Municipal Power Station, a brick building right off its foundation, just wiped it away. It's incredible. You wouldn't believe it if you saw it. 